Try it yourself, implementing JavaScript and jQuery. In this Try It Yourself exercise, we'll download the jQuery library from their website, add it to our project, and use it dynamically in a web page. The completed solution file can be found in the book's code listings archive. Look in the Hour 5 folder for an HTML file entitled Hour 0501. The first thing we'll need to do is download a copy of the jQuery library. So open up a web browser and navigate to jQuery.com forward slash download. You'll see we can download jQuery 1 or jQuery 2. The book uses jQuery 1 at least at this point. So what we can do is under jQuery1.x, download the uncompressed development jQuery 1.11.0 as of this recording, and it comes down as a JS file. You can right click in Firefox and select Save Link As to bring the file down. And at this point, you can also rename the file. The book suggests that you rename the library to jQuery.min.js. As you can see, I've already done that. Next, we have some housekeeping to do in Optana Studio. At the root of your project, you'll want to create a new folder called JS. That stands for JavaScript, of course, and will contain our library files. And finally, you'll want to drag and drop your jQuery.min.js file into that folder. We're going to assume now in hour 5 that we've created a project folder to store the work from this hour and the solution file, which you can type yourself if you so choose, is hour0501.html. Let's take a brief look at the code. We have a script element here that calls the jQuery.min.js file from the project roots JS folder. And then we have a script block, also again located in the head portion of the page, that defines a simple function named writeit that is executed automatically when the body of the page loads in a browser and will write the jQuery version to the browser screen. Let's run the project in Firefox and we can see, sure enough, the static text appears and then we have the dynamic information of the version coming from the jQuery library source code.